Hey everyone, it's Failed Shot back at another video, and today we're going to go over the February 11th patch notes real quick. It looks like it's a pure arena update, which is exciting for a lot of you, because I know a lot of you think that the arena meta is stale, and to be honest, it is getting uh, a little boring. I mean, I think arena is always boring, but uh, uh, it is definitely a little bit more boring. So let's see what they got for us, and whether or not it kind of changes things up, or if we're just going to be doing the same thing. So first thing is added arena effects starting from round two increases the attack of both sides per by 15% each round. So this is massive. Uh, it changes not, it doesn't change a crazy amount, I don't think. But what it does change is the ability to beat certain teams. So for people who are already beating um, arena stall defenses on the first round, I know there's a couple of people out there who have really really well geared damage dealers this doesn't really change too much you're going to run in with the same squad and you're going to do the same thing uh, now however this is sort of like a handicap for those that didn't have the damage to beat the arena stall metal meta uh which is you know on round two you're going to start increasing your attack so now what you could do um from my initial perspective obviously i could be completely wrong about this but from my initial perspective is you can bring in your Blackhorns, you can bring in your Mathasias, your Radiras, and then bring in your Nathalia or whatever, and your Connors, and you don't have to completely outspeed them. You can just sit there, build up your damage on your Nathalia, for example, and then by round three, round four, she's going to get 45 to 60% uh, attack increase, and then she'll be able to kill them all on her own. Uh, so you could bring in, let's just say, a sample team comp could be something like uh, Hakron, Connor, Zatlux, Nathalia, and then your Zatlux and your Nathalia will be increasing their attack by 45 to 60%, and then they'll just one-shot the enemy team. So you can hold on to your cooldowns, just kind of poke at them, and then just one-shot them in one round. Uh, so it doesn't really change anything um, in regards to how strong the arena stall meta is. It's really just whether or not you want to invest the time um, and to beat them, I think, is kind of how, how this works because it is a scaling effect. It literally does not change anything uh, for the first round at all, um, only on the round two, and then the round two is just going to increase the attack. Now, that being said, I think this also introduces a couple things for the arena stall, stall meta. Uh, you could start seeing some crit rate, crit damage brands, like pure crit rate, pure crit damage, and then just rely on the stacking attack for brand to start hitting a little harder. Uh, you could see perhaps... Uh, a lot of certain characters paired with the stall meta, for example, I've seen quite a few teams run Nathalia already, so you can see like a Nathalia brand, Mythasia Hakron type comps, so where they're relying on their Nathalia, I don't know if that'll make it stronger or it'll make it easier because uh, Nathalia is squishy, so you might be able to just kill her outright. So we'll see. Um, overall, I think this is kind of a change in the direction that a lot of players wanted anyways so overall pretty cool and pretty interesting we'll see how this shapes up but again i don't think it changes too much uh in general um i do think that it'll be easier to beat them if you stall it out <laughs> but i think a lot of people just didn't like the fact that you had to stall it out uh but also a lot of people didn't like the fact that you could get killed by tower so let's jump on to number two here new arena season adjustments increased season length to eight weeks it was previous four weeks so it's double uh, new season will be February 13th through the 10th, uh, April 10th, which is cool. Um, and then Arena Shop will sit, change the season shop. Rewards will refresh each season, which is cool. I believe they were refreshing every week. And, um, you know, it was kind of like lackluster rewards, to be honest. The only thing that you really wanted was the potion or the energy in the shop. So maybe they're going to have some really nice rewards. Let's see. Uh, the Solar Arcana now changed to a purchase limit of one each season. Price decreased from 4,000 to 2,000 arena coins. So this is interesting because I have not spent a single uh, coin here. So if we just pull up my account here and enter... Oh, it looks like the shop is bugged right now. Let me just see if I can refresh. Oh, we're locked out. Well, <laughs> we'll see if I can fix this and come back in just a second. <laughs> so we, uh, we got into the game and it's refreshed now so we can check it out, but... Here's the potion. It's 4k points. Um, I have 8k points. I've been saving my points. Now, I don't think I'm going to purchase the Forkana here, even though I'll probably have a lot of extra points. So what's cool about this is, one, it looks like this gear charm is going to be reduced. Uh, we'll see about that, which is nice. It looks like this is going to be half points, and it's going to be a one time per two months. Um, so what this means is, for one, you're not going to get as many of these. I think in two months, which is about how long I've taken to get these amount of points, um, 
I could have purchased a couple over the course of maybe around six months. I could have ended up with five potions instead of in six months, I will end up with three at the maximum with this new system. So that's, um, you could say a downside. Uh, so if you want a lot of these potions, make sure to purchase them now. However, I don't think you actually need that many potions unless you're, you know, maybe a spender or so. Um, for me, I'm not even going to bother purchasing them. I'd rather just get more value out of my tokens overall, which so I'm glad I saved them. I'm going to be purchasing the po the potion every month or every season rather from now on. It's going to be 2k points. But what this also means is, as you can see now, we only have the gear pieces. We're going to have the amulet and ring suit uh, in the shop. So now I'm going to actually take a serious look at this piece, at these pieces here. Like this one has attack percent crit rate. It's not good enough. But let's just say this was, you know, attack crit rate, maybe a crit damage roll here. Even though it's Terra said, I might consider picking this up now because there's a limitation to how many, uh, you know, things we can do with these arena tokens in regards to potions. I also may just save them for energy and just pick this up every month or so or every two months. I keep saying month, but it's actually every two months. Uh, it depends. We'll see. Um, I actually like the change a lot. I don't like the idea of spending 4K points for this. A potion but you know 2k points for me i'm going to be doing that every season for sure uh so interesting change and let's jump back to the rest of the changes here so as i was saying uh the special gear charm decreased the price from 80 to 50 arena tokens so there's a limit and it's instead of 80 there it's 50 now uh weekly refresh gear will be replaced by seasonal gear okay so it's every season there's no longer refreshing gear uh and then adjusted arena rank rewards that could be cool uh, if it's increased, you know, by quite a bit right now, it's not crazy high, but you do get a nice healthy amount of diamonds and stuff from getting high in arena and then added arena tokens to weekly tier rewards. Cool. This could be a lot. It could be, you know, a couple hundred, uh, and that's a massive amount. Increase the season rewards for rank summons and below. Okay, cool. Uh, increase the reason the rewards for seasonal. Okay. So just a bunch of increased rewards, which is interesting. Um, so overall, uh, in regards to the update, oh, there's a bug fix right here. Fixed a bug in Godfrey's trait where the cooldown of all enemies ultimate cooldown comes by one turn when only one enemy receives a positive effect. Okay. So this is just a bug. It, it looks like it was not working as intended, but nothing, uh, that we were going to think is, is really a uh, change there. So, um, arena it's overall i think uh in the direction that a lot of players want do i does this really affect me maybe a little bit um i kind of had an idea of how to, to deal with the arena stall meta anyway so i'm not too worried about it um and so this doesn't really affect me too much now the arena season like shop slash rewards i actually really like this change i think it's cool i like the idea of season like being longer i like the idea of we have eight weeks to basically accumulate everything that we want from the shop i imagine these gear pieces are going to be much much better uh it's gonna have the same stats for everyone so i can actually give you an analysis every two months on whether or not i think some of the gear is worth purchasing in what stages of the game uh so let me know if you want to see that type of video for sure uh but overall i like the changes um again this is only positive for a lot of people i think uh there's not really a negative thing here unless you really really liked getting those potions and you were avidly grinding like myself but i think that's only a small amount of the population that may actually care about this change and even then uh, there's even a smaller amount that actually want it to be 4k points and unlimited versus 2k points in every two months so i like the changes uh let me know what you think in the comments down below if you like the video uh be sure to like the video <laughs> and subscribe to the channel and i will see you for the next one